Hello and welcome to the vSIM tutorial where I will be showing you how to set a background image and scale it properly um, for your road networks that you will be creating in vSIM. It's really one of the first things that you will probably want to do um, so that it will be easier to just simply trace the roadways. Um, what you're going to want to do is first open up Google Earth like I have done here and um, you can enter in where your intersection is up over here or you could uh, just zoom in on it um, like I am here because I've zoomed into this interchange excuse me, way too many times. Um, okay, and it is the Fonts Corner Road and 195, <coughs> 195 interchange. And what you're going to do is just zoom in on it to the appropriate length that you would like and hit the print screen button on your keyboard. Uh, from there you can go to programs, accessories, paint, paste it, um, and then you are going to need to cut this part out. Um, it's important to make sure that you have the scale in. As you can see there, I do not, so I need to retrace that. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Um, I'm using the hotkey control C. Um, then if paint would work with me here. We'll start a new one. Do not want to save changes. Paste. And we will now save into your group folder uh, this image. Um, I'm just going to be saving in the tutorials. Call it 195. And save. Um, it's also recommended something I didn't do there that you save it in a JPEG. So that way vSIM can read it a bit easier. Okay, so now we are going to go into View in vSIM, Background, Edit, Load. Um, you're going to want to find your group folder. Um, here I have the BMP and the JPEG. Open it, um, and then click Close. And you may notice there you can't see anything. Uh, you're going to want to click and Show Entire Network from the left-hand toolbar right here. And then that pops everything right up. Uh, what the problem was is the scale is completely off um, and vSIM does not uh, intuitively know what this is already. So what we're going to need to do is first set the units, um, go to language and units, go to change all of these to the American uh, unit system as you can see in the bottom left here that we have scale and feet. So, we're going to go back to background, edit, and click scale. And from here, you're probably going to want to zoom in on this. <coughs> and go all the way across, and then tell it that this distance is 658 feet, or whatever your distance might be. And you can see this changes things quite a bit, uh, so the image is much larger. Um, now, you can see when you go to draw a link, let's make it three lanes, 12 feet wide, we have a roadway that is the exact same length as 195. Um, in order to save this, <coughs> we will go to uh, background parameters, uh, we have that background file, we're going to click save. So now every time you reopen it, it should automatically be at the same uh, scale and everything should be good to go. And that would be it. Um, you are going to have to reload um, by going view, background, edit, load every single time you open your file. Um, but that only takes a few seconds, so it's not quite so bad. And uh, that concludes everything.